Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate some of the enhancements to qualified expressions in Oracle Database 21C. This video references the for loop enhancements in 21C, which were demonstrated in a previous video. Qualified expressions were introduced in Oracle 18C, making it easier to populate records and collections. Oracle 21C has enhanced qualified expressions, making it even easier to populate collections. We'll use this num to word function in some of the following examples. It accepts a number as an input parameter and returns the word equivalent of that number as a string. Here we see the evolution of populating associative arrays. We have a table type of varchar2 indexed by PLS integer and a variable of that type. Prior to Oracle 18C, we would populate the associative array, creating each element in turn. Oracle 18C introduced qualified expressions, allowing us to create a new instance of the collection in a single statement. We're still specifying the index and value explicitly using named association. Oracle 21C allows us to use positional notation to populate associative arrays. This was possible with nested tables and varays, but never with associative arrays before. The index is a sequence from 1 to n. Oracle 21C introduced new iterators. Here's an example of using the basic iterator to populate a collection. The collection is a table of PLS integer indexed by PLS integer. The index is the value of the iterand, in this example the numbers 1 to 5. The value is the expression on the right, in this case the iterand plus 10. We use a for loop with pairs of to display both the index and the value. And we can see the associative array is populated with the indexes 1 to 5 and the values 11 to 15, that's i plus 10. In this example, the collection is a table of varchar2 indexed by PLS integer. The index is the value of the iterand, once again the numbers 1 to 5. This time the expression is a call to the num to word function, passing in the iterand and returning a string. We see the associative array is populated with indexes 1 to 5 and values 1 to 5 as strings. Here's an example using the index iterator to populate a collection. We still define the iterand from 1 to 5, but this time we add the word index and two expressions. The index is the value of the left expression, in this example the iterand multiplied by 10. The value is the outcome of the right expression, in this example the iterand multiplied by 100. When we display the contents of the collection we see indexes 10 to 50, and values 100 to 500. Here we use a table of date indexed by varchar2. The iterand is 1 to 5 again. The index is the word equivalent of the iterand, and the value is the current date plus the iterand. The output is sorted into ascending string order, but we see the indexes with string values from 1 to 5, and values from the 24th to the 28th. Here's an example of using the sequence iterator to populate a collection. We define the iterand from 11 to 15, but this time we add the word sequence and a single expression. The index will be a sequence from 1 to n, irrespective of the iterand value. The value is the result of the expression, in this case the iterand plus 10. When we display the contents of the collection, we see indexes from 1 to 5, not 11 to 15 and values 21 to 25. In this example, the collection is a table of varchar2 indexed by PLS integer. We define the iterand from 11 to 15. The index will be a sequence from 1 to n again, but the value will be the iterand converted to the word equivalent. When we display the contents of the collection, we see indexes 1 to 5 and values 11 to 15 as words. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.